Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kim and I have had a really interesting experience lately where so many things in my life have just been like kind of shutting down in a, in a good way. You know, in the past I would have experienced this um, with a lot of fear, like, oh my gosh, everything's rearranging itself. What does this mean? It's not okay. I should be busy. And I didn't want to go into stillness too much with like not having a lot of work or clients or um, having a lot going on. And in the past, it was really painful to go into that. It would be scary or where's my self-worth or, you know, what does this mean? Is everything going to be okay? And I was um, able to move through it with grace and ease and just uh, receive it. And so spending a lot of time with myself, relaxing. Um, I've also had this really interesting back pain, pretty severe back pain. So it wasn't like I would take all this extra time and go for a run or go to a yoga class. It was like sit in the jacuzzi, have a massage, take a nap. And it was funny because I realized today how much stillness has been coming in. And it was like, wow, this is not a coincidence. This is like a total pattern in the last couple of weeks where I went to go to a yoga class with my friend. We usually go for a run and she's like, oh, let's go to yoga. And I'm like, sure. And so the yoga class we went to was this really like restorative, relaxed, like zen yourself out yoga. And not what I was expecting because usually that's just not what we have. And I was like, all right, I'm totally ready for this. And so there wasn't, like I said, it used to be a lot of resistance with that. Like I hated that kind of yoga class. It was like, now I want to gear up and like get my energy going. And, um, and there was certainly a part of me today that was up for that. And then it was like, all right, I'm, I'm going to just receive this. And in the beginning of the class, I fell asleep, which like never happens and this afternoon, I found out our email account has been like temporarily put on hold, like like somebody spammed into the server's um, account. And so they had to put a bunch of accounts on hold and we can't, you know, it's inactive. We can't use it until we get things rectified. And I was like, oh my God, that's so crazy. And so there's a lot less activity and I just chose to embrace it um, in a way that, like I said, you know, go through these expansion phases and it's been like, all right, bring it on. A lot of heaviness, a lot of doubt, a lot of fear. And so just breathe in and breathe out. And I've just been able to like say yes, yes to all of this. And so we all go through these expansions, these phases of expansion and there's a lot that it invites us to move into. But when we go through them, all of our deepest fears that are ready to bump out, come up, all of our doubts, all of our worth issues, self-worth, like, oh my God, I'm nothing if I'm not go, go, go and have everything going on. Or, and then fear. Like for me, there's just been so much fear around embracing the unknown, like out of the, oh, here's my paycheck and here's what I do and this is what defines me and I'm this ER doctor and that's who I am and people get it, into this space of like, what do I actually do? Something that, um, you know, 15 years ago, it, it just seemed so esoteric to me. I could feel the calling of my heart of, of what I was ready to be and do. But it was like, really? What would that look like? That's like nothing because I couldn't conceive of it. And so moving into the unknown of, how does my money come in? How, what does my business look like? I'm not creating it from conclusion or planning or discipline or here's my agenda and this is my strategy. It's like that's all been so out the window. And I've allowed the universe to take care of me, right? Which sounds like totally airy, fairy, fluffy. What is that? And it's been a deep surrender. Surrender to all my fears and control that say, no, 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 I have to have a handle on it and I've got to make it happen. And surrender to all the doubts that say, well, this won't work and I can't do that. I'm not good enough or that's not going to work. And surrender to all of the old belief systems I bought into that would prevent me from living this level of receiving and this level of abundance and freedom, joy and ease. And so I've embraced this last couple weeks period of everything that's come up with like heaviness and some fear, mostly just like the heaviness of like um, sorrow, grief, um, depression kind of energy. And I'm like, bring it on. Okay, I'm willing to feel this. I'm willing to experience this. I'm willing to let my body transmute this so I don't live with this anymore to whatever degree it was still 
creeping around in the bottom of the jar and mucking things up, I'm like, yeah, even more expansion. And that's an invitation for all of us. Like what is life inviting you to expand into right now that you might have some resistance around and go back into the strategies of like suppressing all of those things so I don't have to feel them and I don't have to experience them and I just feel really good. I'm busy. I'm busy. It's good. I'm doing good. Everybody loves me. And that's all just the ego trying to survive when it's inevitably going to die. We are all emerging into a more expansive version of ourselves and so if it's fear about money, like, which is one of the things that came up for me, like, oh my God, this is so unstructured and I can't control it. And how is it all going to work? And then moving into the universe has my back. I receive in grace and ease and I follow my own truth and allow that to create itself in whatever way that looks. And then creating things that were impossible for me before. My mind was so sure, no, 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 this will never work. That could never happen. And now I'm experiencing it as my everyday reality. So this is an invitation I wanted to share with you if you have been experiencing the same thing where it's like you're ready to go beyond the, the little box you put yourself in or the box that your belief system puts you in and expand into the true essence of who you are and what's really ready to emerge through you. So take those breaths, witness the pain, the heaviness, the despair, blah, 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 that's coming up. It's just your mind trying to, you know, the energies are there and your mind kind of tries to hook back into them. Yeah, you really aren't enough. Yeah, that really won't work. And you can get hooked and distracted and go back into those same tactics that keep you uh, running from the fear. So like, oh, let me go, you know, work harder or let me look more beautiful and everyone will love me or whatever it might be that distracts you to try to get the ego fed and the identity fed so you can temporarily feel better. But it's not true peace. It's pseudo peace. It's pseudo safety. And I was speaking with one of my friends this morning about that and how her husband is resistant to leave his job that is not fulfilling him because of the pseudo security it's giving him. She's like, it's not even real security. Like that is falling apart before your eyes. And that isn't even real security and, and you've still bought into the delusion that it is. And so we're all moving into this, that following our heart aligning with receiving from our higher self or, or the universe or God or whatever you want to call it is the calling we're all experiencing to, to different degrees. And will you receive that and let all your beliefs, everything you think you know, just go away as you emerge into something much, much more expansive and begin to receive in inexplicable ways that are out of your control, but that are so much more abundant than what you ever imagined. This is Dr. Kim Doramo from drkimd.com. Feel free to share this video with those that you love and certainly subscribe at drkimd.com. I'm going to be sending out an awesome interview I did today with my mentor, Sylvie Olivier of Golden Heart Wisdom, and her sharing some of the wisdom that has massively expanded my life and really assisted me in embracing neutrality, embracing myself more fully, you know, moving into that leap of faith that some people think it, it's a leap of faith, but really just moving into honoring myself more fully and allowing myself to receive um, way beyond my fears, way beyond what my fears said was possible, way beyond what I knew could happen. Um, and, and it really was huge, huge for me to receive this wisdom. So I'm going to share that interview very soon. If you are subscribed, you will definitely receive that. Share your comments with me on this. Um, what are you afraid of or so resistant to um, feeling that you're so busy in suppression that you haven't really allowed the fluidity and abundance to come in? What is it that has held you back? Share my love with you and I'll see you soon.